This is going to be a quick tutorial slash get ready with me. I'm going to show you how to achieve this look. It's kind of like movie nude kind of color. It's the weekend, it's really hot outside and I think this is just the perfect look. So if you're interested to see how I achieve this look, this is the eyes. Really love the sparkle and all that. And the lips and the face and everything. I tried a lot of new products, a co good combination of drugstore and high-end products um, that I just recently got. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So we're going to get started. I've already primed my face, put on sunscreen and all that good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with foundation. I'm going to try out this Kat Von D Locket Foundation. So I'm going to mix this with a moisturizer. I'm just going to shake it a little bit. I am in the shade medium 57. And I'm thinking that would probably be enough. So that's the shade. And then I'm going to get a little bit of uh, moisturizer. This is just my seaweed mattifying cream from Body Shop. And I'm going to attempt to just kind of mix it a little bit. So the idea of it is to make this foundation a little bit less thick. So they have like yellow tones and like cooler tones. So I had two shades to pick up from and I chose this yellowy one more. difficult to blend out than my other foundations I guess because maybe it's so thick. Now to conceal and highlight, you can see I've got really dark eye circles these days. I'm going to use my MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. This is in the shade NW30. I'm just going to use an eyeshadow blending brush which I have been using for my concealer as kind of blend it out there. Tom Ford um, shade illuminator and I'm using this darker color this is in number one intensity and I'm just going to do like uh, not too low I'm just gonna still keep it to the cheekbones I can still feel my cheekbones when I do that use the beauty blender to blend it out This finally, it's the Australis Contour Palette. This is in light complexion. They apparently do have one in medium, but I haven't been able to find it. It is a gorgeous palette, as you can see there. Very good quality, has a very proper mirror there. It's amazing, it's so affordable. I think it's like 20 ish only. So it has like very nice array of colors there. This color right here, which is a little bit darker. And I'm just going to set that contour color that I had on earlier. I'm going to use this yellow based color right here. It's really yellow. <laughs> I'm just gonna pat that on the rest of my face. It does have a lot of fallout. It's quite, um, you can see it has a lot of like fallout here. So you just have to be careful. This Anna Sui blush in 400. It's very pretty. Um, it looks like this. It has a lot of different colors. I'm just gonna take a mixture of the red colors there and just put it right on top of the contour. So I've done my eyebrows, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. This is Max Brown Work. It is a clean pot and it's just like a nice neutral matte skin type color paint pot. So I'm just gonna put that all across my eyelids, keeping it very neutral. Using this new drugstore find I have, it's by Beauty UK, and this is number six day and night palette, and it's super fun. I'm going to start off with a mixture of these two colors right here with a very fluffy brush, and creating like a very subtle crease. It 
it's so pigmented. It's so beautiful. It's such an affordable one palette too. I think this is like $14 or $12. Right, next I'm going to go with this um, brown, auburn brown colour. And I'm using like a very nice um, pencil brush. I'm really just digging it in there. And just placing that colour on the inner outer corner of my eyelids. brush and I'm just gonna go back and forth and just kind of very subtly blend those two colors out next I'm gonna go with this purple color it's a very beautiful gorgeous dark purple color and I'm using like a very stiff eyeshadow brush there's a very tiny mirror here, like the tiniest mirror ever, but surprisingly it actually does the job. So you just like it's big enough just for you to see like what you're putting on your eyes. So I'm just gonna pat that on the eyelids. Okay, that purple was gorgeous. I'm just gonna take a little bit with a pencil dome shape brush and I'm just gonna put that underneath. The, on my lower lids. Ford cream color for eyes. It's really gorgeous. It's in number three, Sphinx. Sphinx. And I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm literally just going to dab it onto the eyes, especially on the lids just to give it a little bit no a lot of pizzazz oh my god that is so gorgeous so it's kind of like a cream slash glitter kind of mix it's super pretty and I think it will work on any kind of like eyeshadow look that you have. For my brow bone color, I'm just gonna dust this cream base color here. It's it it does have glitter, so I'm gonna be very light-handed with this. Liner, I'm using my new Kat Von D tattoo liner. This is in Trooper. It's a very famous eyeliner. I'm gonna powder my face, Max Select 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 Sheer Press Powder. The blush, same Anosphere blush. This blush is amazing because it has a lot of different colors, so you can literally pick and choose whatever colors you want. You can even use this like a little eyeshadow palette. And then this highlight here is really gorgeous as well. But for highlight today, I'm gonna try out the one that's in the Australis palette. It's a nice highlight color right there. Oops. Right there. And I'm just going to, ooh, ooh. No, that's too much. I'm just gonna use, oh no, that is way too much. To just slightly, dust any highlight that is pretty cool i'm quite impressive with this um i highly recommend for you guys to check that out baby lips um, candy wow in raspberry my usual urban decay makeup setting spray give it a Finishing steps, I'm going to use my Mary Kay um, Ultimate Mascara. This stuff is awesome, like it's quite underrated. I got this from my friend Nurain. And now for lips, and this is uh, Trendsetter, it's her lip contour kind of thing. She, you know, how we contour our faces, she's brought it to the next level where she's contouring her lips and all that. But I'm just gonna use this as my lip liner for today. This is in the color Trendsetter. Lip 
Liquid Lipstick, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D. This is in Lolita. Ah, it's so gorgeous. Like, um, I don't know, it's not too glossy. Love that about it. It's kind of like a little bit semi matte. Not me, the lipstick. <laughs> okay, so that's the look. Just show you. Doo -doo -doo. Okay guys, so that's the finished look. I absolutely loved all the products I've tried today. The eyes, the lips, the face products. I'm not usually very experimentative with um, face, face stuff. I usually stick to my good old MAC stuff or Inglot stuff but today I'm really glad I tried out new things. Um, it's really nice so um, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a good mix of drugstore as well as high-end products and I'm loving the look so I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye!